Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the 19th Monday in ordinary time. We remember today St. Eusebius of Rome. St. Eusebius died around the year 357, and the church on the Esquiline Hill in Rome bears his name. He was a Roman patrician and priest. He's mentioned with distinction in a lot of the Latin mart martyrologies. He was a confessor at Rome under the Arian Emperor Constantius II and was buried in the cemetery of Callistus. So St. Eusebius of Rome for your dedication to the faith and bringing it as a priest to his people, we ask you to please, please pray for us today. So let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let's take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say, One our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Save me, God, for the waters have reached my neck. I have gone down into the watery depths. The flood overwhelms me. Here, deep calls to deep in the roar of your torrents. All your waves and breakers sweep over me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God our Father, you are a very present help in time of trouble. When the storms of life overwhelm us, when the doubts of our hearts betray us, and when persecutions unnerve us, keep us faithful, increase our trust, and bring us to safety. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God and follow his ways exactly? To love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. To keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord which I enjoin on you today for your own good? Think, the heavens, even the highest heavens, belong to the Lord your God, as well as the earth and everything in it. Yet, in his love for your fathers, the Lord was so attached to them as to choose you, their descendants, in preference to all other peoples, as indeed he has now done. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, 
and be no longer stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who has no favorites, accepts no bribes, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and befriends the alien, feeding and clothing him. So you too must befriend the alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. The Lord your God shall you fear, and him shall you serve. Hold fast to him and swear by his name. He is your glory, he, your God, who has done for you those great and terrible things to which your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt seventy strong, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in the sky. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the, God, the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God has called you through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house, before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or census tax? From their subjects? Or from foreigners? When he said, from foreigners, Jesus said to him, then the subjects are exempt. But that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop in a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. Open its mouth, and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today our brothers and sisters in the Roman Church remember a very holy man that they have named a saint. We have not put that out there straight up. But I do think he is a very holy man. Was He was a priest <coughs> who was caught up in the Holocaust because he was preaching to the Jews, to save, to save the Jews. And they were going to let him go. But he traded his life for the life of a young man who was next to him in the concentration camp. This man's name, this holy man's name, Maximilian Kolbe. He's gone down in history now as a martyr because he saved the life of another. And brothers and sisters, a story, a story like that is what today's readings are about. Our first reading from Deuteronomy. 
fear the Lord your God. Love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. Keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord. Their gospel. Jesus set the example. It starts out saying, you're going to be handed over. You're going to kill me. You're, then I'll be raised on the third day. And of course, his closest friends, the apostles, were grief-stricken for sure. But who wants to see that, right? But then the temple tax question comes up. And Jesus tells Simon, it's interesting he's calling him Simon here since he's already renamed him Peter, the rock. He tells Simon to go drop a hook into the water. First fish you catch will be a coin. They'll pay the temple tax for him and for Peter, Simon. Now, that is the example of why he was going to die. Because he was paying the price, the tax, if you will, that our sin put us into debt with. He paid that. He paid that for us. Maximilian Colby knew that. He knew that. And he took Jesus' example and died on behalf of another human being who went on not only to live a long, full life, but after the war was over, he was released. He got married. He had children. His children had children. And it goes on and on because of the selfless act of one Maximilian Colby. Brothers and sisters, what would be our legacy? What, what would we do in a situation just like that? Would we lay down our lives for a stranger? Maximilian knew that his life had been lived, a lot of it. Of course, there were some good years left, I'm sure, had he survived. But this young man, I believe he was. He had his whole life ahead of him. Maximilian saw that. He saw that. And he could not allow this young man to die. Where is our heart? Where are we? Would we be a martyr for our Lord? Would we be a martyr for one of our fellow human beings? question we can only ask ourselves, my brothers and sisters, but remember this. Our time on this earth is limited. We don't know how long or short it will be. But what, what are we doing to make it a little bit better for having been here? What are we doing to bring even one more person closer to our Lord? would have come had we not been here. What is our earthly legacy? Because our earthly legacy will also be our heavenly legacy, and that is not finite. It is infinite. It is eternal. Maximilian Colby, because he was a red martyr, blood-shedding martyr, is in heaven. We know that. Where will we end up? In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Lord is our help and our shield. Filled with confidence, we turn to the Father with our petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Prime Bishop Anthony and all clergy, that they will continue to challenge us to walk with faith and trust in the way God leads us, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that their actions may bear the fruit of peace and foster justice throughout the world, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all of those who have drifted away from the faith, even turning their backs on our Lord, that they may encounter the risen Christ in intimate ways and rediscover abundant life in him. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, especially those in our parish prayer list, that God will lift their burdens, bringing them comfort and peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions, we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved deceased and those who will die today, that they may enjoy eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, instill in us an unwavering trust in your plan for our salvation. Restore our courage and deepen our faith. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The waters saw you, God. The waters saw you and lashed about, trembled even to their depths. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this wine and water, and we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the benefit of his holy church. <coughs> Almighty Father, may the gifts we offer to your majesty obtain for us the grace to boldly confess your name. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Out of love, you called us to life. You give us our daily bread and the bread of life, and by your protection and assistance, you see to our every need. And so with trust, we commend our day to your fatherly care. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy sacrifice of the Mass will continue with Eucharistic Prayer 5, which is found on page 92, if you are following along. Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
he then established a lasting memorial of your salvation. On the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself, he took bread, gave him thanks, blessed it, and broke it, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. The supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks and blessed it, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death on the cross. Therefore you have raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. We offer the sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit and fill these gifts with his life-giving power that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son. Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. The company of Mary, the mother of God, with your apostles and martyrs, holy Willibrod, Eusebius, and all the saints, together with Anthony, our prime bishop, Charles, our administrator, and with all bishops, priests, and deacons, as well as your whole church, we praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, we told his peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Let's say together the second communion prayer found on page 98 if you're following along. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused for my judgment or condemnation. But I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament. For your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, a fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. This communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life.
blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life? act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. As I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Flame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, and may the gift I have received bring healing and strength now and forever. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. In the rivers, you shall not drown. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stay by our side in sunshine and in storm. Sustained by this Eucharist, grant us the courage to face the days ahead and the faith never to deny you. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's join me now in prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for Holy Mass today. It's great you can join us tomorrow for the Solemnity of the Assumption or Donation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We will not have Mass Wednesday and then Thursday. We will also join us for Daily Mass all at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And on Saturday at 5 p.m., Sunday at 9 a.m., again, Central Daylight Time. 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We pray that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, remain in the state of grace, fight evil wherever you find it, and spread joy wherever you go. The church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died.